Hello, in this video I'm going to be giving you an overview of the CRM module in Cybiz Vision. So what we'll do is we'll just start by talking about the transactions that exist within the CRM module and we'll do it as a bottom-up approach and start with the lowest level transactions which are collectively called the activities. So they are the remark which is essentially best thought of as a nice short sharp way of recording something that has happened. Emails and phone calls are self-explanatory and a task is essentially setting a due date for something to occur in the future. So each of these activities can exist in their own right or they could actually be an activity within one of the higher level transactions within CRM, namely the case files, leads and opportunities. So we'll just move on now to the case files and essentially a case file is seen as a collection of activities uh, that are all interlinked and related to each other. So the case files in Cybiz Fission have the ability to be internal, so allocated to the company, and that's done by just not designating a customer or supplier. And as you might have guessed, supplier and customer case files are the other two types that we have available. So we'll just drill down into this first case file. So this is one where we haven't designated a customer or supplier. So this is a company-centric case file, so for internal purposes. And so this one is just to set up approval groups for purchase requisitions and we'll have a look at the activities associated with that. So we'll just drill down and of course if you didn't have security to go into the activities you wouldn't be able to see them. Uh, you can drill back up to the case file so if you're looking at this activity in its own right you can see or you've got that awareness through the bolding that there is a case file that this activity is contained within and so here is a certain activity that's due or task that's due to be completed on the 8th of December. Now you do have visibility on a lot of the CRM objects so you can tie that down to certain people within the organisation that, that are able to, to see that based on their role. So a lot of security focused in the CRM module. So with that I'm just going to jump out of the company centric case file and just to give you an example of a supplier centric case file so even though it's CRM C meaning customer we can still do stuff with regard to our suppliers as well so again similar sort of pattern we've got some activities that already exist if we wanted to add a new activity it's just a matter of going to actions and choosing the type of activity that we want to add as part of that but I'm just going to have a look at the activities that already exist against this particular case file and I'm just going to have a look at this email one so this is an email that was actually dragged in from Outlook and in the event that the email address that this has been received from matches a contact on a supplier or customer or whatnot there will be an association with that customer record automatically as part of that drag in process so this is an email I've received from my supplier the document store is also bolded so that means that there's a document attached to this and in this case it's a price list file to import into special prices for this supplier so that's just an example of an email activity and what I'll do now is I'll just close out of that one and go into a customer centric case file so in this instance this is something that we need to do from a service point of view so this is the issue that's been designated and then once we deal with it we can go to the resolution and record that resolution in there for posterity and again similar pattern you've got the ability to see the um, attachments associated with the case file in this instance I haven't got any documents or activities but what I have is a financial transaction so a sales invoice and again if you've got the the rights you'll be able to drill down into that sales invoice and do a number of actions from there so you can uh, reprint it, email it etc so very handy to interlink financial transactions with your CRM transactions and from there what I might do is I might just use my vision search just with the control S and we'll just go into say a demonstration customer uh, record and go into the inquiry screen there and I just want to show you how CRM permeates throughout the application so here from the customer inquiry screen I can start a new case file lead opportunity or one of the activities 
uh, straight from there so I don't have to go to my CRM tab to initiate that. Next we'll move on to the Salesforce automation side of things within Cybiz Vision and you have the ability to designate campaigns so you can set start dates end dates and this just gives you the ability for a better reporting purposes throughout the lead and opportunity Salesforce automation functionality within Cybiz Vision. So leads and opportunities are reasonably similar to what we saw with case files but uh, there are some obviously Salesforce centric functionality points within the leads and opportunities. So here again you've got the ability to add your tasks, remarks etc as part of that process. You've got your attachments as well but uh, that we've seen so let's just focus on particular sales force automation functionality so this particular lead here uh, has been assigned a sales process and so you can define one or many sales processes allocate them to a lead and essentially what the sales processes do is they designate the various stages associated with that sales process so some sales processes involve a lot more work so if you're looking to get a new customer that generally is regarded as needing uh, more work to occur but if it's an existing customer obviously a bit of less work there because you already know who they are you've already got the rapport but uh, just to explain a little bit about the process as far as leads are concerned and opportunities we have our stages so as, as I said these stages are associated with our sales processes so I've just put that up to a qualified stage and as part of that that now gives me the opportunity to convert this particular lead to an opportunity so I'll click on convert and save and close and you'll see it's disappeared from my open leads list I've still got the one remaining lead there but the out of the two leads I had one of them has now popped across in to the opportunity side of things so you may have a very lean sales process and not too many stages and you don't even have to worry about the lead side of things if you want to go straight to the opportunity you can uh, but what we'll do is we'll just continue the process for this particular lead so naturally what would be happening in the real world is we'd be having our activities etc as part of this process so all the follow-up calls etc would be coming through as part of that uh, but just again to keep this simple just to show you some of the, the functionality and explain some of the concepts with leads and opportunities in Cybiz Vision CRM you have the ability to essentially create leads and opportunities against existing customers prospective customers or if you like you can wait till you get to the the end point in the in the opportunity or sales process before you actually create the customer record so this particular opportunity that I've brought up from the lead doesn't actually link to an existing customer at the moment because I didn't want to go to the fuss of creating that customer record prior to winning the deal so I've put my opportunity stage through to a winnable stage now and the one button has come on so I'm just going to uh, tick that I've won that deal and now I want to create the customer from that process as well so it brings up the customer screen and I can go in and set up the customer record as part of that process I won't actually do that just at the moment so now that the the opportunity has been won it's all uh, tied out and uh, there's no um, interaction required with it anymore one thing that I neglected to show you was there is a spell check functionality through the right click menu so that typo that I have there can be corrected very easily as part of the CRM process so I'll just jump out of there and final thing I'll show you is you can also get a list of your open activities so what I might do is uh, I'll just jump into this one which we saw before with the, the price import there and uh, that's just giving us um, instructions as to importing the prices etc so um, I can as I said before drill up into the case file and see the other activities associated with it as well and the other thing that you may have noticed is there's uh, looks like some very repetitive stuff there these are actually tasks that are created via the breakpoint functionality within Cybiz Vision so an invoice has been generated and then a task has been assigned to someone to follow up on that invoice through to payment so there you have it there's just a, a very brief tour of the CRM functionality within Cybiz Vision thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Cybiz